16% of the world population can neither read nor write. Many of them are children, especially girls, between the ages of 5 and 14. One in three women, even in countries with high incomes, is a victim of violence. Child abuse is an invisible and unpunished phenomenon involving 223 million victims worldwide. Thousands of boys and girls are recruited by armed rebel groups. 150 million children between the ages of 5 and 14 are exploited in child labour. Fundamentalism and terrorism no longer make religion an instrument of peace, but rather an instrument of death. War, poverty, lack of school buildings, shortage of adequately trained teachers. Without education and instruction, entire generations will be hopelessly lost. Once I had arrived in Turin, my teacher, Father Giuseppe Cofasso, brought me to visit the imprisoned. Who knows, I asked myself, had they had a friend outside to take care of them, to assist them and instruct them? Embracing the inheritance of Don Bosco and Maria Domenica Mazzarello, we stake everything on education because we believe in the youth. Among the many educational works of the Daughters of Mary Help of Christians, Auxilium is the only one of its kind. Since 1970, the Church has given us a mandate to manage a faculty of education for the training of professionals in the field of education. We are a pontifical faculty, the only pontifical faculty directed by women. The name Auxilium expresses our reference to Mary, mother and teacher. Our cultural and formative proposal is rooted in the humanistic teachings of Saint Giovanni Bosco and is expressed through an interdisciplinary approach used to the educational problems of youth and young women. We cultivate a positive and optimistic vision of the person, putting them at the centre and accompanying the person in their human and Christian growth. We train specialised educators, educational psychologists, social educators, school administrators, religion teachers and passionate, courageous evangelizers. We learn to work as planners, formators and administrators in areas concerning school, vocational training and other educational contexts. We prepare educators as professionals capable of planning socio-educational interventions with special attention given to the family, to childhood, to difficulties and marginalization faced by minors, to interculturality and to leadership. We are enabled as experts in catechesis and youth ministry to operate within ecclesial and educational institutions, including multicultural, multi-faith contexts and as educators for teaching the Catholic faith in schools on every level. As educational psychologists, we are able to intervene both in and out of the school environment to prevent and resolve serious issues or difficulties. In addition to continuing education courses, the faculty offers a bachelor's degree and a first and second level master's degree. In the course of spirituality, an interdisciplinary approach is used to deepen the charism of the Institute of the Daughters of Mary Help of Christians.
With the yearly course for formators, we update ourselves in initial and permanent formation in consecrated life. With the master's degree, we are able to respond to emerging educational questions for the protection of women and children from abuse and violence. Attentive to the ongoing socio-cultural changes, the study programs are valued for their high quality. For this reason, the graduates are able to obtain their degree within the designated time frame. With regard to education, it is essential to think and operate in a network. The faculty collaborates with study centres and cultural institutions on both civil and ecclesial levels that work in socio-educational areas for a reciprocal exchange at the research level. The internship gives us real-life experience which enables us to easily enter into the working world as professionals. The academic authorities of the faculty are the daughters of Mary Helper Christians. This ensures charismatic continuity. However, we do collaborate with the faculty of lay professors and religious from various congregations. The library at the faculty has over 120,000 volumes, which covers various areas of education, with particular attention to the problems of women. In addition, the library has a wealth of more than 600 specialized Italian and foreign journals. Since 1963, the faculty has been publishing its own journal of educational sciences. The heartbeat of Auxilium is the academic community. Here one is enabled to critically and evangelically reread reality. In our faculty, one is able to breathe an open Silesian atmosphere. We are not numbers, but persons, a community which has the face of the world, where diversity is at the service of unity. We face the daily challenge of making the experience of study and research a permanent intercultural reality. At Auxilium, one learns to take a stand for life, for the young and for education. A humble and tenacious act, like the sound of the forest that grows in silence and transforms history. Come and listen to it and build the world of tomorrow with us.